so it's raining here today but I am walking finally towards the earth turning. My fourth time into the park ever and third time within the last year. This time I'm finally going to get to go on Symbolica. Fortunately you shut last time. I'm hoping Villinger de Hollander and Bob will be back on today. Because I messed it up. I think it says like today's the last day of maintenance. But I'm hoping that it means that maintenance is finished today. <laughs> oh my god, nothing beats that entrance theme. just magic reminds me a little bit of Disney how you hear it and you know you're on your way I think it's better than any of Disney's soundtracks to be honest <coughs> beautifully themed park beautiful sounding park what more can you want Even though I do sort of wish it was sunny, but that's what I get for coming here in January. As you can see, they've still got winter themed things here in Efteling. Hopefully, there will be a lot of the Christmas stuff still up. It's from all the videos and stuff I've seen, it does look beautiful. Look at the Christmas. I'm just hoping I managed to get a lot done today. Try out all three on Symbolica if I can. Many, many, many re rides on the Baron. That's the main draw for me for this park. It's a beautiful roller coaster. It's a very big park though. Very easy to get lost. Looks like everyone's headed towards Symbolica. In which case I'm going to head towards the Baron. Come back to Symbolica a little bit later. So hopefully I'll get a few on the Baron. I mean unfortunately it is obviously wet and raining today. So you can't really see the sheer scale and how beautiful this place is even with it beautiful perfect sunshine you really can't get an idea unless you're here it's such a beautiful park I mean even the like that there's frogs in them it's all fairy tale themed lots of dragon theming as well knights princesses it's a perfect park for kids, really. It's a pity they haven't got a little bit more in it for adults. But I think it is still a place that adults can enjoy. I should have probably been walking on the outside there, but oh well. It's a way to get out there up here. <coughs> Coming up near to Bob's, so I'll see if that's still maintenance I might check it out a little bit later today because the Baron is a beautiful beautiful roller coaster that I plan to spend most of my day on and then hopefully Symbolica are quieting down in a bit I don't think it's going to be too busy today I should at least get one run on it, bare minimum. And here we are coming up to my first ride of the day, which is of course the beautiful Baron. I went past Bob to check out the entrance. Unfortunately, it is still in maintenance, so it won't be getting on that today. I might have better luck with Villager de Hollander. Who knows? Let's hope so. 
look at it absolute beast of a roller coaster it's not very tall but it does still pack a punch very short punch but a punch nonetheless beautiful station beautiful pre-show nice singing white women so I literally walked up and straight away got given a ticket I'm on the first row my favourite road to be on on this apparently they're going to take my bag inside so hopefully get to show you guys a bit more of the pre-show with some luck tiny little details in here usually the bit where you pick up your bags today they just said them at the side of the ride Baron is seriously not busy at all today I literally went into the line got my ticket went straight into entrance B straight on the front row there was maybe six of us on the whole ride and then I went on it three more times after that so so far four in a row I hope to be doing a lot more than that later my record currently is 10 and that's on Nemesis Inferno at Thought Park in the UK so I think I can definitely beat my limit on this I'm gonna go for 15 all right now I've seen them testing Villinger de Hollander from a distance so I'm hoping that it is actually going to be running. 
who knows if I'm lucky I might make the first public train unless it's already gone in which case hey it's running so lucky you can easily get turned around in this park just trying to remember where I'm going isn't that just beautiful steam coming up I must admit though it's a hard one to ride in the rain on the front row you can really feel it coming on your face um, so just bear that in mind obviously if it's the first time on it then uh, avoid it in the rain if you can or if you can't choose one of the back, further back rows but you have to do it on the front row at least once the view is incredible from it the Drake is running today I've seen it going round uh, I didn't get a chance to do both last time so that should be nice to get to do both today check out Symbolica today and of course many more re-rides on my favourite ride in the world currently the Baron oh I just realised that my thing's covering it massive puddles everywhere though so I'm going to try not to drop my phone so I better put it away now see Python's missing a bit out of it obviously it's undergoing maintenance at the moment there is a sign outside village of the Honda which says basically that they're maintenancing it just as they to preserve today's splendor or something like that so hopefully that may be an indication that it might be back up today I have seen it being tested so I saw it going around when I was on the Baron it was definitely this it wasn't Joris tell by the boat like trains that this has Although there's Joris over there and it looks like there's lots of empty seats. So hopefully this might be another walk on with any joy. Okay, so I just got off Joris and Drake. I did the red one. And oh my dear God, does that thing fly in the rain? I am actually quite lucky that I've come here on a day that it's raining so heavy. Who would have ever thought I'd say that? Because that thing flew round. I can't remember if that's the one that I drove last time, um, but all I know is, Jesus Christ, that took off. That really, really took off. Uh, I'll go on the blue to compare in a minute, but we're going to need a little bit of a break. I just went on it twice. Everything I'm just getting on back to back today, because it's such a rainy day, there's not many people in the park. I mean, I haven't seen one full train go on that yet in the walk up here. Or while I've been on it not one full train so uh, that's definitely a good thing especially if you're on your own and then they can just fill the space not that that's even needed today I don't think you really need a single riders line at all today this is like dead here obviously I've not gone over to Symbolica yet so that one I am expecting to be busy but Joris is just like that it's, it's dead there's not many people around in the whole park like those are about the only people here uh yeah i chose a good day to come i really really do hope villager the hollander and bob do run later though i will be quite upset if they don't to be honest but i'll understand i mean obviously rides need maintenance now and again it's a bit unfortunate because then i could have gone tomorrow and got on them but i didn't realize because i'm an idiot uh yeah, I've not seen the Baron go down for a little while, so I'm wondering what's happening with that. Whether maybe there's no one on it, or whether, like, it's gone down, down. I hope not, because I would definitely want to go back on that at least, like, ten more times today, which I'm sure I can easily do, because I had four on that. Two on this. I've been in the park about an hour. Technically, I've already ridden six roller posters, so I'm not complaining. Should be an amazing day here. It, it is raining but in the other sense making Joris fly around so I'm not really going to complain about the weather I can't really see too well beneath this but we've got a dragon moving about now and again breathing a bit of smoke looks like he's looking right at me Take this wicker man. 
there's fire effects on this coaster. I haven't seen the fire run today, but we have got the smoke, obviously, of the dragon. And just look at it, it's dead. It's completely dead here. Come in January. Okay, it's very wet. It's not going to be the most pleasant experience to walk around, but it's freaking empty. Everything's walk on. Maybe not symbolic because it is the newest ride, but everything else I've come across is walk on. I do you find it interesting how the chain pulls up? Fierce little close to this. My expectations of Wicker Man have just gone up now that I've ridden this in the rain. It's definitely changed my opinion of the ride. It's gone up quite a lot. Look at it. The station's nice. It's no barren station, but it is nice. It's about the closest I'm going to get to Dueling Dragons now. So I did fire before. And I'm going to do the water, considering it's raining, might as well. done both drakes I can safely say my favorite is the red one um, I think last time it might have just been the blue one that I went on which is a lot rougher at least it feels a lot rougher I mean the red one's still rough you expect it from a wooden coaster but the blue one it just felt too sharp for me sort of like if I was in a headrest thing I would have a massive headache right now but thankfully not just lap bars on them and the belt that goes around you. Thank Christ. The uh, red one's definitely the best one, I think. I don't know how much rain's affecting things, but they are definitely really flying around, more so than they were before, but yeah. I'm really hoping that's going to open today. Villain did the Hollander. I mean, just look at it. Even from the outside, that ride looks incredible. But inside, the station is amazing. The ride itself is pretty damn good as well. Sort of, if you think if Pirates of the Caribbean had a roller coaster section and was better than Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. I'm going to try and work out what the quickest way to walk to Symbolica is. Uh, thinking if I come up here, do the boat ride thing, and then there's probably somewhere off that way. I might get on the train as well if it's if it happens to be there. Just because I haven't done the train yet. Apparently it's a really nice way to see the rest of the park. I've just found some Christmas theming. Look at that. It's nice that it's still up for a little while. I don't know when they take all of this down. It's literally the last day of January now. So I imagine there probably was an awful lot more than I'm seeing at the moment. Oh, that's nice, look. It's actually got like a real fire. Someone's warming themselves on it. 
I don't blame them. Oh wow, it's nice and warm. Quite as many people on the boats today. As far as I've even gotten going around, to be honest. There we can see Symbolica. My first time on this, so first time review for this. Unfortunately, they were still finishing off bits last time I come. Although there was rumours that it might be opening the day that I was there. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, it didn't open. I don't know if they had any like individuals going on it like grabbing certain people but I know I certainly didn't get to go on it unfortunately but that's all right because I'm here so I'm going to be going on it now last time I checked it was a 15 minute wait time for this ride so hopefully won't be too far off that again oh that's nice I don't know if I saw that one before there's always something new to see in Italy if you think you've seen it all you're probably wrong. Unless you've been here like every day. It's kind of a nice thing about this park though, you're always discovering something new. I'm gonna get on that thing later as well, the viewing platform, I didn't go on it last time. Beast! Now I've gotta work out where the hell the entrance is for this thing. I'm guessing there. Again, it looks quiet. Hopefully I'll get a ride all free. <coughs> so there's three versions of this dark ride and it's meant to be brilliant. So this is a 10 minute wait through single riders, a 10 minute wait through standard queue time. I've not seen anyone go down the single riders. So I thought, you know what? my first one on let's just try it see what it's like I may be better off I may be worse off who knows it's worth noting that if you go through single riders you can't choose which journey you're going to take but as it's my first one that doesn't really bother me I just hope it's going to be obvious when I got on it what one I've been on Oh my god, look at it. Okay, so I'm literally the only single rider here. Well, 
edele gasten, deelkasts. Welkom in Symbolica. Het is van het allergrootste belang dat u... Wat is dit? Alex Hallo allemaal. Paradoes, onze koninklijke toverbaar. Wat een saaie boel zeg. Wat, 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 wat doe jij hier? Ik? Ik heb een veel leuker idee. Geen audiëntie, geen regels. Maar ga met mij mee. Nee, nee, nee. Ik reis door vertrekken vol magie. Het heet hier niet voor niets het paleis der fantasie. On to one through the palace of fantasy. No, no, no. Obey the rules. Denk aan de regels. Transito, culto, fabulu. Trage treden, open u. Oh, wow. disabled entrance but I'm guessing there must be. Oh just so cool. All the stuff around is awesome.
so just off of Symbolica, I have to say that is one of the best dark rides in the entire world. It doesn't quite beat Forbidden Journey for me, which is at Universal, but it's probably now my second favourite dark ride. That was absolutely awesome. Okay, I'm not including like dark coasters in this, just so we're clear. That was awesome. Really good, really well themed, magical. And today is pretty much walk on. I've seen people wait for hours for this on like videos online, but yeah, this is a really, really nice attraction. All I can say is Disney better watch their backs because Efteling is bringing it with the dark rides. Like, Disney cannot compare. It, it just can't. It's a, this is like miles above, miles and miles and miles above the thing. Me. Still got some of the winter stuff around, Christmas tree. I want to get on that next, as soon as I can work out how to get to it. I mean, just the tiny little details, I mean, up there in the roof of it, you can see like little lights going on and off, as if it's like candle flickers. The lights have got all the icicles and stuff in the winter. I mean, you, this is the ATMs here. They're like that, quite literally. All of them. Efteling is such a nicely themed park. I think you really just got to appreciate it for what it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. It hasn't got all of the big feral wides and roller coasters, etc. that other parks do have. I mean, the roller coasters it has got are really good, but it's not got many compared to some others. But it is such a beautiful park. I mean, I'm just coming around here just to show the some of the theming we've got going on about like two o'clock and I've done like most of the main attractions I want to do the indoor coaster uh, that they've got because I really like that one but I'm just around here then I want to get up on that I think next more bits of theming left from the winter season here at Efteling loads of these little picture frame things around I don't know what's in there I wonder if that's a museum. If it is, then I'm near that coaster I want to go on. If it's not, then I'm out of luck. But, oh god, we've reached the area where I got lost last time. Fairy tale forest, I know not to end up in there again. I won't get out. It's a carousel in there, but it's a beautiful one. I'm not going to do it this time purely because of time. Look at that. I'm guessing that must be the big ice rink. It's really nice that they've still got all of this up in January. We've got like fake snow on everything. Loads of Christmas trees around. It's really nice. I'm glad I've come at winter. Just to see the park looking so pretty. Oh, it's a food and drink place as well. I've not eaten yet. I want to get around as much as possible because I missed so much last time. No, still no idea where the fairy dark ride is. I know the eagle coast is just up there that I want to do. Oh my god. Wow. Looks, I think you can get this for free as well. On the ice for free, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna do it because I'll break my neck, but wow. Somebody can struggle in a little bit. 
Oh my god, there's even like chairs to keep people up. That is a good idea. In here. About some parcel for the kiddies. Ice skating for the kiddies and for the adults. Really nice. Really beautiful. So just ask a member of staff about Bob and Villains and the Hollander. Sadly they are in maintenance, um, so they aren't running today, but the good thing is I got to see this thing, this big tent place, because apparently it's this last day. So there was an advantage coming today versus tomorrow, but who knows, might get uh, a to come tomorrow as well. Uh, even though I want to do the zoo in Amsterdam, but I could do that on the last day in theory. I think there's like a massive slide up there. I'm going to check that out in a minute. Because if it is, I want to do it. But yeah, I'm about to eat my first bit of food. Go for there. It's a sausage roll. Pretty big. It was like two euros twenty-five though. So expensive, but. Uh. Not bad. A little bit salty. Not too bad. It's good. Yeah, it's a slide. Oh, looks quite fun but I don't fancy dragging the thing up there. You can't end up falling. It's also got a little outside ice rink as well. <laughs> if I get up there and the seagull's got a hat, Christmas hat on, I swear to God, I'm gonna freak. <laughs> oh my God, I think it has got a hat on. I can see something. Definitely doesn't look like it's normal self. Ride shot at six today. Last performance of Aquanord. It's at six fifteen. They do it to get everyone towards the park entrance. I'm probably saying Aquanord wrong. I'm sorry for like mispronouncing all the names. It's going to happen, I'm English, I'm sorry, I'm dumb. That ride was literally there since I was a little kid. I remember going on it. It's quite busy in there. Well, not as busy as it usually gets, but busy for comparison. Oh my god, look, you can't even see his eyes. The hat's too big, you can't even see his eyes. <laughs> Unless it flaps. That's cool. That's really cool. Oh god, I'm in like a swimming pool here. Oh god. Ah. Oh. Okay. My feet are now sufficiently wet from that. Note to self, look before walking. Oh, at least I can dry off here for a minute. Before I go in on the Eagle Coaster. He's got his Christmas hat on and his scarf. He's not cold. To be fair, it's not as cold as it was meant to be today. I'm pretty layered up though. Oh my god, it's so awesome. Zero minute wait. And try it. It's a beautiful queue line this. Pretty sure they've got a single rider line as well. Which means I literally walk on. I wish I could show you what this poster looks like running around. 
it's beautiful. Even if I could get a camera on it, it wouldn't pick up. Would you look at that? Completely empty. Just come off of the Eagle Coaster. Once again, still packed with punch. I think some of the lights were off that time compared to what they are normally. Uh, like, I think you can see a bit more at the front than you can at the back. Cause I saw like the Eagle statue, which I didn't see at the back. Just had three in a row on that. Once again, it was a walk-on. And then when I got off, it was just a case of there was empty seats, so I got back on again. When I was making my way towards the front, which generally, most of the time they don't seem to mind here at Efteling. Other parks they do a lot more so. But also it could be as well because it's really quiet. Little maze down there. It's kind of cool. But yeah, really enjoying the day at Efteling. Uh, not much of the day left, really. Unfortunately, it's almost about like half two. But in that time, I've gone from one end of the park to the other. I'm wondering if I should walk around that way or whether I should go that way. I've not been on that viewing platform yet, so I do want to go on it. If the entrance isn't down here, then I'm not going to go on it. If it is, then I am. So I want to make sure I get plenty of re-rides on the Baron. I've already had four on it today. So I just think it'd be nice to go on that thing at least once. See Efteling from above. There's like no one on the boat thing, so I can go on it if I want to. I just wish I knew how long it takes. My first time on this little viewing ride. I spoke to some Dutch girls, they said they reckon the boats are about 10-15 minutes. That's not too bad at all. Last thing I want is to go on it and then find out it's like an hour long. Look at it, it looks well pretty. Up. I like all the nice lights in the trees, that's nice. You can see the Efteling Motel over there. It's very nice when you're driving up to it. Never been inside. Maybe next time I come, maybe I'll stay for a few days. Mm. God, it does feel like we're going quite high now. Like the wind on this. Not gonna lie, I'm slightly scared. I wanna get down. <laughs> oh, the barren though, my beautiful. way too scary for me. I tried to take a selfie with Baron in the background. It did not work. 
Oh my god, this is scary. Oh, this is so scary. Look how surrounded Efteling is. I think Irvin else, I think it's a 19-8 uh, extension. I'm not 100% certain on that figure. But they have got an awful lot of space to play with around this park. So I don't know how much land they do own of it or whether they're going to expand outwards and get to own more. This is already a massive park. Seems like we're going slowly back down now. That's probably a good thing because I'm slightly scared. It's too high. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be quite so scared if my hat didn't like literally fly off my head. Oh, so it gets back to ground. Ground level, ground level. Too scary. <laughs> At least it's not raining out, so the Baron should be a lot more comfortable to ride. I'm hoping not everyone in the park has thought the same thing though. Few other people waiting to come on all that time we we're up here there's like one person that's already like actually ready to come on the ride others are just making their way up i think we have to go out this way it's quite nice all the seats all around does everyone a good chance to look about everywhere thank you Very scary at the top. <laughs> uh, it isn't dangerous or anything with the wind. Yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, it blew my hat off. Oh, really? <laughs> I had to grab I my hat. Were, uh, yes. You, uh, catch it, so. Yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> Fortunately. Yeah, see ya, thank Enjoy you. Staff here are so lovely. I'd like a tiny bit of rudeness last time I was here from one of the Baron staff, but not by much. Overall, I've got to say, it's got some of the friendliest staff at any theme park I've ever been to. Personally, Universal wins for me. I mean, everyone raves about Disney staff, but I do think Disney's slightly overrated. Don't be wrong, they're lovely. And I've met some lovely, lovely cast members who massively go the extra mile, by and large. I think it could be better. Still a lot of work going on there. For Python. Placing all the whole track. To be honest, I thought maybe they should replace it with another coaster. Although to be fair, it's the one I think in Efteling now I've not done other than the ferry ride. It looks like it's uh, quite a while yet before the maintenance is finished on that. Only started recently. I really wish that was open. Ninja Dawn is such a good ride. It sucks that I'm missing it, but there we go. I'll see it again at some point. It's not like I'm never going to come back to this park again now I've done Symbolica. See, look, they're testing it. They're testing it, it should be running. Uh, it's a little bit cold for that, but it is such a cool ride. I'd be happy to go on it if I could. Hey 
hey guys hope you really liked the vlog um, make sure you like and subscribe because pretty soon I'm going back to Efteling uh, I'm also doing my first trip to Europa Park both of these are with a company called Cara Events so they're like coach trips and stuff that do like all theme park trips and various other trips as well around Europe um, and it's pretty cheap actually so like get on that it, it works out a lot cheaper like um, pretty much every time I've been to Efteling I've stayed in Amsterdam there will be some Amsterdam vlogs coming um, most particularly from Artist Sue in Amsterdam which is incredible if you've never been there and you've ever stayed in Amsterdam you, you, you've got to get there it's really good um, it's quite cheap as well actually for how big it is it's, it's, it's worth the entry cost um, yeah, so usually from Amsterdam I get the Discover Holland ticket, which is £60. That covers your train as well as your entrance, and obviously the bus from the train station as well. Um, which makes things nice and easy, because it's all in one, rather than getting separate train tickets and stuff. You're a little bit restricted on the timings that you can travel. Um, I think it's before, you can't travel before 9 o'clock or something. Um, so you get you a little bit later than park opening, but particularly in the summer that's not really going to affect you too much. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing park. I'm really looking forward to going back there August 4, and I'm going with some uh, awesome friends. So I'm going with Daniel Sheldrake, Joseph Drain, although I've not met him, we've been chatting online. He seems cool. Um, sort of like, but kind of like a badly dubbed cartoon at the moment, and how the booth is recording this. Hopefully, it will actually look better when it's put in the thing couldn't be asked to get my phone in and get it on. Yeah. But yeah, should be really good. Um really looking forward to it. Um Russ has come in, uh and a whole bunch of other people go in. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um I think Ross's mum's come to that one as well, so I think it's to her, it'd be nice to meet her. Um and I'm also looking into potentially doing the New Year's Eve trip if I have money on. Hopefully job interviews next week will go well. Because uh, that'll be really good, in which case I know Caroline, my friend's going to be there, in which case, hey, shout out to you. It's good to see you at the theme park. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, that's about it. Europa Park's coming up really soon now, in less than a month, but I'm really excited. I know it's taken me ages to get these vlogs online. Um, as many of you know, I, I, I study, uh, I do the master's course at the moment, and prior to that, which is why some really old ones are coming up now and again now I've had more time chance to, to edit um, I was working at a school on a very very full on job 